The need for affordable senior housing is on the rise in Williamson County. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with a city official who says something must be done and soon. So it is a select group of people who can afford those types of units. New senior living communities are going up left and right in Williamson County. A lot of our developers know that that's where the need is for people who are leaving high tax areas and coming to our community to live. Franklin Alderman Pearl Bransford says those who can't afford it are okay. This is a wonderful place to be. They love Franklin, they come here. But those who can't are being left behind. That's where the crisis is, and that's where places like uh, the Franklin Housing Authority, when they come through and they build these units, they fill up before the last brick is laid. Several years ago, the Franklin Housing Authority built the Reddick Senior Residence. They tore down some really OO units, so they made this three-story senior building. It houses low income seniors. Not only do we have the proximity to grocery, but we also have a little small transit system we have in Franklin. It stops at our senior sites. But Pearl says this building is full. They had 100 people on a waiting list for this one. Those who cannot afford the high cost of new properties are saying that I don't know what I'm going to do. According to a Middle Tennessee state study, by 2027, there will be nearly 63,000 seniors living in Williamson County. That's 110% growth in a decade. So getting trained workers to take care of older residents will be a challenge. Demand for workers in nursing care facilities is expected to grow 15% over seven years in Tennessee. We are very attractive. So we have an influx of people wanting to be a part of our community. Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. The Franklin Housing Authority's Chickasaw Senior Community is still under construction. It's unclear right now when it might open.